gotta get my fans up on me. They dig them up. 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 What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles K. Coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys see from the title of today's video, we have a brand new update on 2K23. But before I even tell you guys what the update did, make sure you guys do drop a like on this video and make sure you guys are going into the pinned comment down below and enter in our VC giveaway. And those winners will be announced in my next video, which is coming out today at 1236. All you guys have to do is just follow the instructions that are in the pinned comment down below and I will be giving out a $50 code whether you're on PlayStation or Xbox and make sure you guys are turning on post notifications so you do not miss any videos in the future but with other men said out of the way let's go ahead and get started with today's video now please do keep in mind the update did just come out you know like recently like five in the morning so these are subject to change and I will be updating all the patch notes in the comments and you know in the description and stuff like that as the day goes on and as we play the game actually but as of right now this is what it reads for the description NBA 2k 23 update patch 1.007 details are now available for PS5 and Xbox Series X. According to the NBA 2K23 patch notes, the latest update resolves various issues related to AI, shot selections, and other bugs. Apart from this, NBA 2K23 patch 1.007 also includes online stability improvements. Previously, 2K23 patch 1.006 added quality of fixes and changes. Unfortunately, since the release players are facing several login and disconnection issues, it basically just says today's patch, you know, will fix those issues. And then if we scroll down to the next screen, it has the official patch notes which are these address ai issues added ai uh improvements added shot selection issues address animation related issues fix game crash issues address online connectivity issues address some random disconnection errors general stability and performance improvement and other minor fixes so as of right now that is all that we know about what's going on with the current uh new update that is on 2k23 another thing i don't know if i told you guys this is a um next gen only patch so this is not really a major patch i know a lot of people was thinking that this patch was going to be the patch that was going to give us the patch that uh you know would cancel out those steals it would change you know how the rim running and stuff would work also i want to talk to you guys about that as well so a major thing that is going on in the community as of right now is going to be the steals and how people are just walking up to people literally and just taking the ball from them now it is a very very big problem i will say this on current gen it is way way worse that like playing on current gen I, I, most of the time that i've been playing it it is absolutely ridiculous bro i made myself like a player and went to the stage and just wanted to test it out and see how bad it was like if you didn't have no unpluckable and you literally cannot dribble on on anybody bro and it's it's very bad guys it's like you cannot dribble on anybody at all if you do not have any unpluckable even with unpluckable as soon as you stop dribbling and stand still bro that ball is completely gone it's like i don't know what's taking 2k so long to fix the steals i don't even know why the steals are like this anyway uh because the offense is so you know like broken down i don't i don't see what's the point in having the steals turn up like that anyway that's just pointless to me i don't get it but at the same time you know 2k just i don't know they decided like that was gonna fix the problem with defense and stuff because honestly people still do the same thing that they did in 22 it's just um even with the adrenaline bars bro people are dribbling for a very very long time and finding ways to keep their adrenaline bars which is gonna be crazy to me so hopefully the next patch will be you know addressing those steals and gameplay changes that we do need so uh yeah let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the steals i'm pretty sure we all feel the same about it and uh you know you're just ready for them to get fixed what would you guys have them do to the steals i want to know that too let me know in the comments down below but on to my next point and topic that everybody in the community has been talking about recently which is the 6-9 to 6-8 builds and how you know they're basically toxic and they take no skills to use okay so i'm gonna be very very honest with you guys and i'm gonna be very very truthful with you guys when i do say this one it does take a little bit of skill you know to use those builds just because um the build is way bigger and the animations and stuff sometimes are a little clunky when you are using those builds now yes they are very fast once you have on the certain dribble moves and you know how to pull off those said moves but you still have to learn how to do those in the, um in all honesty and if you do not know how to do those you will not be good on that build and uh people were saying that it's very very op and um it's a hard thing to play against and uh, and honestly bro you can beat a six nine to six eight player like once you get that stop you know Know, you just have to do what you have to do you have to play perfect or you know you have to continuously just play good d but they are beatable and um the reason why i say this and you know i don't feel like it's, it's too op
OP is because we've dealt with this era before, bro. Have you guys forgotten about 2K16, uh, 17, shit, even a 15? On 15, everybody was running around 7-3 um, demigods. You know, it was just all-out warfare. You know, the best big old guard won. So, I mean, as a community, it's, it's not nothing that we haven't seen. It's basically what I'm trying to tell you guys because we've been through the big era of big guards already. Like, on 17, there was point fours that were six. 10 bro 610 out here dribbling like the the builds are dribbling today if, if we're being honest now granted on 17 there was that animation glitch where you can have any dribble move on any like type of player like any height and stuff so that just make that even more op so what's the difference i want to know from you guys tell me what's the difference from 2k23 today and 2k17 back then because we all love 2k17 you know so why is everybody you know upset about the rim running right now is it because you know y'all are just sick of it y'all sick of that play style too many people play like that now because yes back in the day when um those type of builds and stuff was out not too many people played like that i'm not gonna lie but nowadays we have way more youtubers we have way more people promoting content and uh you know their subscribers just follow what they do and to a t and actually you know some people become toxic when doing that so i can't see how people you know are kind of frustrated and upset with the rim running in the six nine to six eight builds because if that person who's using that player knows what they're doing if you come up too far they're going to run past you if you play back you know too far back is going to be a three so i can kind of see where the frustration will come in at. but at the same time i'm gonna be honest it is very very beatable because how the defense is this year they only have three bars of adrenaline once that is gone you guys should be good you know you just have to watch the back doors and stuff like that but i want to know how you guys feel about the rim running situation in the comments down below let me know and i also want to know what you guys would change on the six nine builds once the first major update does come out like what would you have 2k do differently to them to put them in check now the last and final thing i want to talk to you guys about is that 2k is giving out free vc if you are helping them find bugs and stuff that is in the game that needs to be addressed now this was first brought up by phantoms big shout out to him a very good news channel if you guys have not you know watched any of his content make sure you please do so he is a very very good channel and he has great news videos but in this screenshot that i'm gonna put up on the screen this person actually helped 2k and let them know that something was going on you know with their game and they actually rewarded them and the screenshot actually says this i have an update after looking into this i see the appropriate team has been notified of the issue while i won't be able to provide updates on the report i appreciate you reaching out to us to make sure that we do know about it it's important to work with the community to make sure the game is the best i understand that a quick resolution would be optimal but i'm unable to provide that this time while we wait for the next patch to fix this problem i have added 15k to your vc account so basically he the 2k whatever dev or person that he's speaking with rewarded that person for actually telling them something about their game which is you know that that's a w but on 2k's part honestly because normally they wouldn't even listen to us as a community bro like we would tell them that we want to do certain stuff we would say stuff needed to be changed and it's just like our stuff just go on deaf ears but it's good to see that somebody's actually listening to us this year when it comes to stuff that is in the game that needs to be fixed now uh just going on to show further proof that you can get vc from them somebody else asked them and told them something as well and they also got 35k added to their account so like i said guys if you have anything or you know even if some that's you know not even real and you just want some free vc you can pretty much bring it up to 2k and you will just get a random amount of vc and that's going on at the moment which is absolutely crazy i don't even think 2k has done anything like this in the previous years so that just goes to show you this year they are listening to us and they are trying to make the game better so um yeah that's all that i have for you guys today um that's gonna be it let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on all the points that was made in today's video don't forget to drop a like on this video and be sure to enter that vc giveaway because this is the last chance but it has been your boy charles 2k i will catch you guys in the next one I'm out. Peace.